All right, so here's the package that it comes in. Remember this works specifically for iOS devices. Um, you know, we're talking about the iPads and the iPhones. And I believe there's a way to work it with the Mac computers as well. I've been messing with that, but uh, haven't figured out a way to switch back and forth. Anyways, here's the actual device that you're gonna hook in to your keyboard. And the key here, as you see this arrow up, that's gonna go into your MIDI in. And then the other one is gonna go into MIDI out. And you'll see the signal going back out here. All right, so now when you get to your back of your keyboard or on some of the digital keyboards and maybe the front, but uh, mostly the back, you're gonna plug this in. You wanna make sure that those go on top, okay? I almost plugged it in the wrong way. All right, you'll notice that the arrow is still pointing towards the keyboard in, and then the other one will go out. Now, I have my key keyboard off. That's what the instructions say to do. So now I'm gonna press on. And then we're going to see a light here. And that means that the signal is transmitting. When it flashes between the red and the green. All right. Now you'll notice that on my keyboard it says MIDI data error. However, uh, there is no issue uh, with the trans MIDI transmitting. Uh, the fact is, is the technology, it just doesn't recognize the technology, okay? But it does work just fine. So, um, this, I don't know how far back that this will go on your keyboard, but I imagine if you have a keyboard within the last 10 years, you should be fine. Okay, and then you just want to make sure, I mean, on my keyboard utility, but um, you should have some kind of main setting option where you can go find, um, whoops, there we go, where you can actually find, if, there, if you have a keyboard that has a uh, setting for MIDI and USB, make sure it's MIDI, okay? Make sure it's set for MIDI. And then if you have like a channel selection, I would just choose channel one. All right, so the next step is to get it connected to your iPad. Uh, the first thing that you wanna do is go into your app store and go ahead and get a uh, search for Visual Performer. It's an app by Yamaha. You can put in Yamaha Visual, Visual Performer, and you'll find it. And there are several MIDI apps that help you make the connection. If you have any issues with the technology, I found this one to be the foolproof way through research and uh, just from some of my other colleagues. So we're gonna push open once you have it installed, it is free. And once you open the app, it'll actually look like this. And then you're gonna go to the bottom right hand corner options or settings and then you're going to locate MIDI at the very top and then Bluetooth MIDI device. All right so it should recognize it and uh, at first it's going to probably say disconnected or not connected and then you're going to want to click it and it connect it and I have not had an issue with uh, any of my three keyboard uh, synths that I have here. All right, so now it's connected, and if you actually play notes, you'll see stuff on the screen here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and exit the app. We're gonna test it out. Um, we're gonna go into the app Home Concert Extreme to test it out. Since the majority of my students that are using this technology will probably be using this particular app as well. And we're gonna go into Options. And then you'll see MIDI set up. You'll see an, uh, if it's not already check mark, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and check mark the Bluetooth under input. 
And then under output, you'll have internal, your internal synth, unless you have um, uh, something else uh, there to give you better sounds. And make sure that echo MIDI input is checked as well. All right, so now let's exit. Now just double check and make sure if you're using the headphone jack to make sure that you can do your volume up and down on some of the older iPads. So I have the fourth generation. I sometimes can have problems with that. So just uh, take out the cable, put it back in if you're using the headphone jack. All right, so. All right, let's test it just for a second here. Now you can actually go into test this in GarageBand, you can test this in other apps, but I like using this one because uh, if, pretty much if you can play along inside this app and do everything you need to do, then you should be able to transfer to the other apps um, uh, to be able to use MIDI and connect to your keyboard.